everybody, it's Hashimoto00 coming at you with some 7 Days to Die. Now, I have this, like it says in the title, modded. I have three mods on right now. One of them is uh, called B-Dubs Vehicle Mod, which is amazing. It adds in about uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 vehicles into your game, which is fantastic. Uh, it will actually show up um, if you have a pre-existing world already. Uh, if not, then it'll you you start off a new world and then of course it'll be in there. The second mod I have on is from PhD Gaming. Um, these mods also I'm getting from Nexus Mod, which is where I get most of my mods from. Um, the PhD Gaming I have the bigger backpack mod, which is here. It gives you 120, 160 slots that you can you can have. Um, it also adds to your uh, chess. Now, if you have a pre-existing world and you put this on, then you're going to have to build a new chest to be able to have the extra slots that are going to be implemented onto that. Okay, but your backpack will automatically, obviously, show up once you log into your game. The third mod that I have on here is the. Um, it's called just better and what it basically does is it makes your vehicles drive faster it makes your crafting faster on certain aspects for certain things so when you're crafting uh in the workbench uh things uh some things uh, are super fast if not instant um when it comes to your forge say you want 50 forge steel that'll be about 10 seconds maybe even less so <laughs> It's pretty awesome. The first time I ever did it, I, I, I had went to forge, I think it was a hundred forged iron, and it was like done. I was like, uh, all right, awesome. So yeah, it's, to be honest, uh, it's probably one of the best mods that I've ever used is the um, Just Better mod. Now the downside to the Just Better mod is the ground is at 10,000 hit points. That's a lot. And I had read that he had done that so that if zombies are trying to dig down to get to you, then uh, it's going to be a lot harder to do so. But I believe, don't quote me on this, but I do believe that there are uh, ways to go about making that uh, change. Uh, I, my, I myself have gone into my XML files. I had changed the property of how much uh, hit points the ground actually has, but as soon as you log out and then log back in, it changes the XML files for that. Uh, unless I just did it wrong or whatever, but um, when I went into my game, yes, it, it was lowered down, but again, the outcome what you get, so the amount of clay you get is not, does not, um, uh, how do I say, like, it doesn't um, give you what you would normally get. So, meaning you get maybe six instead of the 30 or 60 you get from breaking a certain block of, of ground when you do it, right? So that's that for that. Now, you've seen the bigger backpack. You have seen, oh, let's upgrade that real quick. So now, now also with the Just Better, which I love, as you can see right here, this is my entrance. I'll explain entrance to what in a minute. This here is polished steel. Now, if you remember Seven Days Dive back I think it was Alpha 15, Alpha 15, Alpha 16. They used to have the uh, stainless steel paste, I think it was called, and it would give you this type of, of, of finished steel. Whereas um, the vanilla in Alpha 19 does not have that. It stops at steel. So this mod actually gives you back that, and I love it. It looks so clean. It looks great. It goes really nice with like your normal concrete look. Um, not upgraded concrete. So now the vehicle mod... Oh, hold on, I'm just going to change the time of day here. There we go. Sorry, I have Horde set for th day three, so... Yeah, we don't want to jump into that right away. <laughs> so, the other mod that I have is the vehicle mod, and I love this mod, okay? Because I'm not satisfied with just a 4x4 Jeep. The gyrocopter is a, gyrocopter is a complete ridiculous mess to drive around. I can't stand that thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. But this mod that I'm talking about, D, no, sorry, B Dubs vehicle mod from Nexus. I don't know if you might be getting it from there. It's the best. I'll show you why. 
I have two vehicles that I had spawned in for this video. Okay. Now I've spawned in my two favorites. Okay. And I'll explain why when I show you. First one is called the Marauder. This thing is a badass. To be honest, it is quite easy to operate. It is. It handles really well and it is quite fast. Um, as far as I know, it's pretty much looks like a, it looks like an old Mustang. I don't know, but yeah, straight pipe action. It is awesome. But my favorite, my favorite favorite is this. Yes, yes, a Mustang. Look how cool that is. Now, it comes in different colors that you can get through the mod, um, and all you gotta do is just, you know, you just have to craft them like you would the, a mini bike. It's the same thing, same idea. So, let's hop in and see how it sounds. So that's what it sounds like when it's driving. I'll just kind of back up here. Sounds pretty awesome. Now, the Marauder sounds the exact same. Oh, actually, no, it sounds different. This thing's like a monster truck. It is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Now, yes, it can run over zombies. Uh, I think it runs over rocks, too. Let's see. Off-road business. Yeah. Is it stuck? Oh no, it's not. Yeah. That's awesome. So now I know there's other. Oh, oh, oh. It's not smashing to the Mustang here. So I know there's other mods that actually. Um, uh, other mods that actually have like an actual monster truck in it. I I don't have that one. I have I believe I've seen a video on it or whatever uh, in the past, but um, this I I don't know. I just love it. As you can see, like it is. I didn't even hold down shift, and it was you know it was a decent little speed, little speedest. All right, so that's the vehicles. This is amazing now it comes with a whole bunch of other different vehicles too that are really really cool i'm not going to ruin it for you no spoilers you can go check out the mod yourself and see um you know what uh what vehicles that the mod has to offer and it's awesome go get yourself that you will not be disappointed all right moving on so i wanted to show you guys my base all right that's my little uh little tool shed with my clay and box so this is the entrance. Oh, let's upgrade this to my uh, to my base. What am I missing? Forge steel. Get out of town. How much do I need? Apparently more <laughs> than eleven. Okay. So as I went through before, polished steel. Awesome. Break this open. Now, all you guys who've been playing this game quite a bit throughout the years, you'll know that this is something that is found within the game. I did not build this little thing here. It is found within the game. It's already, I guess you call it prefabbed. All right. So let's uh, hopefully. Okay, here we go. Close it up. We don't want any unwanted guests. All right. So, as you can see, like I said before, this was not created by me. This was already there. You would come down. There's a bunch of zombies. They're pissed off. They want to kill you. So I, this I did build. Obviously, kind of cool. I thought it, I call it the back cave, and then you got to come down here, and we just run this to uh, attempt to get to the base. Now I'm hoping I haven't done Horde Night yet on this uh, level. I basically made this just to show you guys the mods that I I had I had gotten, um, and to test out the mods before I made this video. And so, okay, we're looking at uh, getting a little bit tired. Yeah, should have some coffee. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Turn the corner. 
so I did this trying to come up from down here to the right, right to my base, right? And so I debated if I should make my forge down here, like make a little forge area, but I thought because the, the screamer zombies, which are which are attracted to the heat that you produce, which heat is produced through crafting, mining, shooting. And so, um, sorry, not crafting, uh, like crafting, melting, having your forge going. So, and if you have it down super low, they don't get attracted to it as much. And if you have it super high, they don't get attracted to it either. So I thought that maybe, oh, uh, stamina. I thought that maybe it would be high enough for what, you know, to not have them come in and give me some, uh, give me some headaches. Those biatches. Because, uh, you know, we all don't like screamers around here. Okay, so this is the bottom floor of my base. Basically, this is where all the magic happens. Uh, the zombies come, and I take them out. See a little landmine over there. So if, I, I don't have enough iron to uh, make upgrade these to iron yet, but that is obviously uh, a plan. So the second floor. Oh, shoot. Okay, so clearly I don't know how to play the game. <laughs> What's happening? There we go. All right. Second floor I made out of the bars here so that the uh, the zombies end up breaking in in some some way that I can stand here and just shoot them and hopefully, you know, be able to take care of the situation. And before they do that, I built this so that, you know, they can be taken care of before they actually break in. Well, hopefully, anyways. I went a little crazy on the uh, wood spikes because, well, why not? All right. <laughs> Third floor. Third floor is where I'm going to do most of my crafting, save point here, uh, cooking. So when you craft stuff in here, it does, like, gets finished immediately. And I will show you now. It's immediate. So even if I built, say, let's just go to 20. 21. See how fast this is. Bam. It's super fast, and I love that. And if I know maybe some people might not like that, but me and myself, I do, especially when you're trying to just like, you're starting off the game, you want to get to a certain point, it's perfect. All right, so that's the same with that. And the same goes with the forge too. It's that fast. You know, all of a sudden your build is done. All right, so top floor. Top floor, I, I also have these bars down too, because, well, you know, if you're busy up here, doing your forge stuff, then you want to be able to take out some of these dirty bastards from up here, which I don't see any. Now, I'm just going to quickly go into god mode so that I can fly around and show you guys the outside. You can see from the bottom I went with polished steel um, to finish it off at the very, that's, well, that's the highest of crafting you can go. Uh, went a little crazy on the spikes, and I do plan on putting a heck of a lot more. Now, when I spawned in on this, uh, was it prefab uh, number two on the world creation, I was actually just over there is where I spawned in. And when I did, I thought, I saw it like this little couple buildings over there, and I thought, oh, and I saw this little, you know, whatever that is over there. And I thought, oh, man, there's a town right nearby. I should build my base close by. Then I saw these mountains three of them. I thought, oh man, maybe I should build on top of one, because I never have yet. I've, I've got uh, almost 700 hours in this game. Yeah, 700. Um, which is nothing compared to, like, I'm sure, like, Cage and uh, Games for Kicks. Um, but there's just mountains, mountains everywhere. So I thought, you know what, I'll build on top of it. So I had this, like, one point at which zombies would have to crawl up all around here just to be able to get to my base on Horde Night and on just any other regular day, right? So I'm hoping that that's going to make it a lot harder to be able to get up on, right? So I set landmines, spikes, all that sort of stuff. And when you're standing up here, 
can really stand up here. You're able to have a good enough view that with a sniper rifle, you could take them all out, man. I could toss Molotov cocktails all the way down there and be able to like do some serious damage, which is the plan. Okay. So that is that. So that's what I basically wanted to do is I wanted to have it where I wanted to do something different, you know? Um, once I got up here, I had noticed that there was a town right here. There's a town over there and some buildings over here. So I'm pretty much surrounded by towns. So this is like this. I don't think there's anything over that way. I'm not quite sure. There's a road heading that way. You can see from over there. There's a road heading that way. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what's over that way. I'm going to have to check it out at some point in time. But yeah, that, ladies and gents, is my base, which is obviously not done yet. I want to put, um, so what I want to do is I want to put electrical fence along the outside so that even if they touch or get close, they'll get electrocuted. And they should be, I mean, after they get through all that, I got to put barbed wire down still. I got to put, uh, you know, iron spikes down, all that kind of stuff. And um, you see one of the landmines I have there. Um, so I do have a, fa uh, a ladder that comes up here. I I'm hoping they can't reach it, but I don't think they can. Um, I don't plan on using that that often. Uh, the only reason why I have that there is if the zombies after Horde Night are leaving loot, box, uh, loot bags and stuff like that, then I can go and collect them. Um, but aside from that, my entrance is down there, and that's where I plan on coming in and out of, you know, the whole time anyways, right? So, it's definitely, uh, <clears throat> definitely taking a lot of work, as this game usually does, and that's why it's so fun. Um, the other give a big shout out to Fun Pimps, you guys are creating a game that is unlike anything else out there on the market, and I think that that is obviously it's awesome and you're getting a lot of positive feedback um, and I and I say don't ever stop like make this bigger and better and 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 you know oh, that didn't go very well and um, you know as awesome as it is you know keep it going because like I said I've been playing this game since 2013, I believe it was Alpha 9 or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but it was like very, very early uh, in the access. Actually, I don't even think it was an Alpha. It might have still been in beta. I'm not quite sure. I don't even remember how I got it, but I, <laughs> I did. Me and my brother did, and we just played the crap out of it. It was awesome. Um, because it was, it was the, when it came out, there was nothing like it. And to be honest... I think that this game is has set the 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 tone for a lot of games that have, like especially when it comes to horror open world surviving uh, craft games. I think they've really set the tone for games that are, are out now, um, you know, and what they're doing. I think that they looked at this and was like they learned from it, and then they went on to do what they're doing now, which is fantastic. Um, but there is only one seven days to die. Let's get real. Okay. Um, so I think that uh, the fun pimps got to keep it going. Um, I also have this on console as well. I'm actually playing this on PC, but uh, I, have, I also have it on console, which they haven't updated in forever. So guys, if you're watching this video, can you please do that? Thanks. But to be honest, games like this, man, they're totally like it's PC. It's PC all the way. You know what I mean? Um, but there's some people that just don't have the PC that can run it, and so console is the way to go, and I and I completely agree with that. Completely agree with that. A gamer don't hate when it comes to games. What I mean by that is, if you're a true gamer, you will play on console, you will play on PC, you will play on any sort of game avenue you can because you just love to play video games 
and I am one of those people. I know you guys are out there too. But on that note, I'm going to end this video here, and I'm going to come up with another one of me just kind of going around and crafting and looting and driving around my sweet Mustang. So check out for that, or look out for that, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just want to say thank you guys so much for joining me on my channel, and uh, check out my other videos. Subscribe and like and share and all that fun stuff. And I hope um, I hope you're all doing well in these crazy times with COVID and, and all the stuff going on around the world and people just acting crazy. You all need Jesus, okay? Man, some of these things I'm seeing happening in the world is just crazy. You all need to calm down. You know what I mean? Smoke a J or take some KC oil, you know, with a little bit of CBD. Eat a sandwich and play some 70s and die relax. All right? All right, till then, love all you guys, man. All right? And love each other. Take care. Bye-bye.